Hey guys, it's Adam from OtherMod.com and I've got some pretty cool updates for you. In the last video, I was showing you guys the original prototype and I've been hard at work for the last couple of months working on this. There's a lot of big changes with this board. The biggest is the fact that more features are integrated onto it. I'm just going to start from the left side and work my way over. First we got the audio filter and audio amplifier and that handles amplifying the PWM audio from the Raspberry Pi Zero. I've also included a switch so you can easily switch the audio on and off so you can cut it off when it's not needed. Uh, it'll also save power on the device. Get here, we've got what's going to be the FPC 10 connector and that handles all the left side controls. And right here, you've got breakout pins for the micro SD card, and that's going to make it a lot easier to solder up an external connector. So just like the last one, this one also includes the power off and power on circuit, and that's right here. Just on the other side of that, this is a whole new circuit entirely. This handles charging of a lithium battery. It also handles boosting of the voltage of lithium up to 5 volts for the Pi to use. Right here is a circuit that gives you a low battery indication and below that this circuit handles the joystick control. This is for the FPC24 connector and that gives you all the right side controls. And finally on the bottom side of the board you've got pads for battery and for the USB connector. One really cool thing about this board is the way the Raspberry Pi gets attached to it. So I've given an outline of where the Raspberry Pi actually sits. And it's got pads for directly soldering it to my board. And that gives you all the GPIO. And it also gives the pins for the micro SD card. I've really designed this for easy installation and it's meant to sit right where the PSD's original board sat. And once mounted, you'll see the Raspberry Pi right on the bottom. Now that I've described the board, I'm going to show it in action. Here's one I've completed. Got the Raspberry Pi already soldered in place. Uh, there's a few wires in here That's because this is a prototype. Not everything was perfect, so I had to make some modifications. The only other board in here is the LCD controller for the composite video. You'll see there's no SD card installed in the slot. That's been broken out and installed right here. The USB connector soldered on. That's fully functional. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on. So in terms of features, this has all the ones of the previous builds and a couple of extras. You got your power indication light, which stays green under most circumstances. When the battery goes low, that light turns orange. It'll also turn orange when you have a power adapter plugged in and the battery's charging. And then even when it's off, the light will switch to green once the battery's fully charged. Uh, all the controls work.
up, down, left and right. You can also use the joystick for these controls. Triggers work. Start and select. And like I said before, got an audio switch. In case you do want audio. Of course the headphone jack does work. I'm going to go ahead and bring up a game to show you guys the joystick. Alright guys, that's pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed the video.